Hello, this is the sixth episode in the Map Libre series, showing you the basics of web map creation. In the previous episode, I showed you how to add 3D terrain to the map. This time, I'll show you how to create a mini map control so that you can show an overview of the mountain range for the peak that you're currently showing on your map. Create a new file in the same folder as your HTML file. Name it maplibregl-minimap.js. This will store all the functionality of the minimap control. I've already prepared the code in a written tutorial. The link is in the description below. Copy and paste it into the file you've just created. Next, include this file as a script in the body of your HTML document. Now you can add the control to the map. Define it in the map on load handler. Type new map libre navigation control and set its position. Now you should see the mini map in the corner of your 3D map. It's orange at first because the area of the main map is bigger than what is shown on the mini map. Let's make the zoom level of the mini map different from the zoom level of the main map. Go to the maplibreminimap.js file and find zoom levels. Currently, the difference between the main map, the first number in each row, and the minimap, the last number in each row, is only two zoom levels. We need to increase this significantly as the main map is in 3D. Make the difference between these numbers four by decreasing the last number in each row by two. Now you can clearly see the orange area represents the extent of the main map on the minimap. And that's it. You have a useful minimap to give context to your main map. Let me know what maps you're making in the comments below and what features you'd like to see explained with Map Libre. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more web mapping tutorials. See you next time.